Hey folks, I'm Tommy Mester and I have created this video to my article called SQL for Data Analysis Episode 2, where we were about to import a bigger dataset, a 7 million lines dataset, and I've just found it more easy to understand to have a screencast video about it as well. So here we go. Step 1, open terminal and login to your data server. I use SSH data guy which is my username and my IP address. I type my password. The data server I use here is set up exactly just I have described it in my previous article called Data Coding 101 Install Python SQL R and Bash. You can find the link below the video. And step two, we have to download the data set, the flight delays data. I will use wget and my URL that you can find in the article. This takes a little bit of time, so I will speed this up in the video. Okay, great, now we have the data, so let's set up DTRX, which is a command line tool for unzipping stuff. And the command is sudo apt-get install DTRX. It might ask for your password, so just type your password. And here we go. Step four, unzip the file. It will take around 60 seconds to process the whole file. So don't worry, your terminal is not freezing. It's just needs some time. Okay, done. I will just show you quickly how the data looks like. You don't have to do this on your computer. This is the first 10 rows of your data set, but you don't need all the columns. I will a little bit format this file. The original file is 2007.csv, but I will cut out a few columns from it. And then I will filter out the rows where we don't have data. And I will put the whole file into a file called sqlready.csv. You can copy paste this whole command from my article. Now I will show you how this new file looks. Less columns, right? Now we have to give permission to our PostgreSQL user to create tables and load data into them. This will need multiple steps. First, let's sudo to the user called PostgreS. sudo dash u PostgreS dash e. Then start PostgreSQL. Then type this, alter user, your username, which is in my case, data guy, super user, and don't forget the semicolon. Okay, we gave the super user rights to our user, so we can just go back to our normal user, backslash Q, exit, and as you can see, I'm on data guy user again, and I'm not on Postgres user anymore. And then I will log into my PostgreSQL database, with my original user from the command line. And eventually I will just go ahead and copy paste the SQL command that I have specified into article as well. So you can do the same. Now my table is created and the last step is to copy the data from the CSV file you have just downloaded. You can copy paste the command again from my article, copy the name of the table from the name of the folder where I store my CSV file, which in my case is home data guy, my username, sqlready.csv. And then I have to specify the delimiter, which is a comma, and that my file has a header, which I can do with CSV header. And boom, my data is imported. Now we have 7,275,000 lines in our SQL database to practice. 
this is pretty cool and the last step is simply just test if everything works i will open up sql workbench and i will just go ahead and connect to my sql database if you don't have sql workbench on your computer check the article below the video where i explain how to set it up but for now let's connect let's run a simple sql query something like select everything from flight delays but make sure that you use the limit close to remember that you have over 7 million rows of data in this database even though postgresql can handle it easily your computer might be frozen if you try print all that data on your screen so try something like this first select everything from flight delays limit 10 And boom, it's just working. And basically that was it. Now you can go back and continue with my SQL for data analysis episode two article.